change he felt after last season as he left Calgary as a Grey Cup champion. Tight formation here, second and six. You see Lewis on the line. Three receivers right there. Cato going outside to S.J. Green. S.J. Green still in bounds. Still in bounds. S.J. Green down near the 35-yard line. And then another great connection from Cato to S.J. Green, and not a good job of tackling on the far side of the field by the stamp. Team to go younger with the with the guys they have. I mean, those guys are amazing. They're like my little brothers, uh, Joe and Eric and Marquay and and Jeff. So I think it worked for everybody. Well, Dobson Collins coming over the middle as Raheem Cato to Steelgate. Only in the Canadian Football League. Welcome home, Nick Lewis. Raheem Cato wants to throw. He does. He has S.J. Green far side. Hauls it in. Corner route that time. Big gain for the Montreal Alouettes is S.J. Green, who was injured just a couple plays ago, comes back and snares that one for 20 yards. A tremendous protection afforded Raheem Cato on this play. They keep Sutton in the backfield. Sutton absolutely gashed Calgary's defense along the ground, so the threat of him and the run is going to hold that defense, keep them honest. Field done now, first and 10 from the 47. Quick hitter this time. Finds Alex Charette, and it looks like he's going to plow and barge his way for another first down. It's second and 11, loss of one. Cato, strong arm, open man, touchdown, S.J. Green. On a rocket from Raheem Cato. Fifty-one yards. What a delivery from the rookie quarterback. Well, Cato zoned in on this one all the way. You can see he's watching S.J. Green down the seam. Quick move at the line and then gets a step. Beating Brandon Smith to the inside. Never breaking stride. And the stage just never seems too big. He's 23 years old. He's in trouble though. Or maybe not. Escapes Cato now. Another move. Look at this. Raheem Cato steps out of bounds. This is why Jim Pop. Tom Higgins and the rest of the Alouettes brass loved him. He got two. They're going to have to kick with this. Absolutely avoided his sack. Well, we knew this was a part of Cato's game, but not a part we had seen a lot of during his short time here in the Canadian Football League. From the Terrell Sutton in the run game here in the second quarter for the out. I think Orgel throwing again. Cato stands in and fires. Low toss. Dobson Collins, now with his fourth CFL team, a guy who is part of a trivia question. That is fifth CFL team, has been with Edmonton, Hamilton, Ottawa, Montreal. He is the first ever Red Black to score a touchdown. Collins. Now from the Montreal 40-yard line, Cato goes first and 10 with Sutton again. Bobble football and almost picked off. And it was Dobson Collins. Far side was playing hot potato. Nearly intercepted. Yeah, Collins, the lone receiver out to that side. They're trying to get the hitch to him. You see Sutton and Blake out in front to block. Unable to get the squeeze on that ball. Second down. Four man rush. Cato now dances out and goes deep once again. This is way overthrown and it's picked off. Joe Burnett. This is a fantastic play by Joe Burnett. What a catch. Joe Burnett gets the start for Buddy Jackson at the corner. Has a highlight reel interception. Watch this. Joe Burnett the in the huddle and so on. Now he has to go. Takes off with a football and lunging forward.
Keem Cato who shows that ability with his wheels to again get another first down as they move close to the score zone. They're at the 20. Downs took advantage of that. Doing a nice job as head coach Tom Higgins says. Rakeem Cato gets better every day, every practice. You see a little bit of improvement, a little bit of progress. Teammates can't talk enough about him. That leadership he has. Pulls it back out of the backfield. Brandon Rudley. Rudley, look at this. Rumbling now. Down inside the 15-yard line, his first touch. Brandon Rutley supply Get the win at your back. But I, I do believe this is a little bit about momentum. Cato ducks it and takes it. Look at that, Juke. What a fake. Shoulder fake by Rakeem Cato. And he'll move the sticks again. Right at the first down marker. Cato gets out and running again. Yeah, he's impressed a couple of times today with that scrambling ability. So I said, we knew he had it. We just hadn't seen it on display a whole lot. With We're an Alouette team that has seemingly found its guy in Rakeem Cato. Well, he's certainly done nothing, particularly as a young quarterback, to dispel the idea that he deserves a chance to continue playing. He comes out chucking this time. And now, in pursuit, off his back leg, tosses it in to Dobson Collins. Collins fumbled the football. He fumbled the ball. And the Calgary Stampeders have it. Dobson Collins, who unfortunately has had that nickname, that moniker given to him in the past, dropped it on his way to the end zone. Great play by Fred Bennett. Stamps half. Boy, that's a lonely spot on that sideline, isn't it? Well, Dobson Collins after the fumble. An unfortunate end to a great play by Rakeem Cato. Already hurt the Stampeders with his running ability. They all came up on him. That opened that big window to Collins. But a great effort to make the strip by Fred Bennett. Jamar Wall scoops it up. Been a 41-yard gain on the play. Nice job there. Brandon Rutley, who only played one game last year and then ended up in the Eastern semifinal. So now passing down. Cato has his man. Haven't heard from SJ Green in quite some time since that first half. Had a touchdown catch on a ball. The group did a great job with some later round picks to assemble that offensive line. First and 15. Cato barks it out, four-man rush, and now they'll take off. He steps forward, Rakeem Cato, a dump about nine, almost ten yards on the play. It's going to be a second down conversion time once again for the Alouette. But Carlston Hughes chasing him down. Five-point game, Cato swings it out to S.J. Green. So, can this young man continue to carve what has become a Remarkable story in his first season in the Canadian Football League by leading his team to a comeback. Loads of time here in this fourth quarter. Look at the Alouettes in that third quarter. Another second down conversion. One man rush. And to the far side for Nick Lewis. Route King Cole, as he calls himself. <laughs> <laughs> we had a great call. He Googled him. Yeah, well, and, uh, you know, and Nick Lewis, as he as he explained the story to us, he said, you know, it's a funny thing because I'm I'm not usually one to do it to Google people and and look them up. But he was, I think, somewhat fascinated by what he had heard about the background of Rakeem Cato and and wanted to know more. You know, and the two of them have formed a very fast bond. Rakeem Cato, in fact, talked to us yesterday about the fact that he went back and got to know more about Nick Lewis's history in this league, watching some of those highlights from his days in Calgary. Second and six now, Cato cutting back, look at this. Rakeem Cato still on his feet, now chucks it. And was he out of bounds? They're saying incomplete pass. Looking for Rutley on the far sideline. Well, one of the more exciting incomplete passes I've seen in some time. Rakeem Cato on the scamper in that backfield. He is so slippery. Look at this. 
back and forth. And he has this, this knack as he rolls because he's one of those guys who sort of threatens to run as he's, as he's rolling out. As the the zip line. Summer showcase, the juniors get out and catch some great summer hockey action. Akeem Cato connects again with S.J. Green. Time ticking this. Has very much become its defense more than its offense. Now their defense held Calgary to just a touchdown and a single point in this second half. Cato now looking out now. Cato has to run. He does, and he dishes it off to Nick Lewis. Nick Lewis is open, and Rakeem Cato plays Houdini once again. Now you see him, now you don't. Reception. Safe play, throw it away and move on to the next down, but that is a step in the learning for a young QB. One of the most important plays in the ball game. With protection, he fires it. SJ Green with a little hop step over to Ron Mayo, and lunging forward in that second effort, may have picked up a first down. Uh, he's gonna be close, got a little extra boost. I think it was his center, Luke Brodeur Jourdain, who did a little something to add to the momentum for SJ Green. He's just gonna sit down across the middle. So, they get it to the house, second and 10. Stamps bring the house, dropping it off. And making the catch is Jean-Christophe Beaulieu. Seven yard gain, so it's going to be third and three. Tom Higgins. Does he have some more magic up his sleeve? Rutley and Sutton. Play clocks at two. Play action. Penalty flag down. Cato. And this is all going to depend on this flag. Penalty flag at the 22 yard line. It's against the Alouettes. It's procedure. Okay. Procedure. Montreal, 87. Penalties decline. First down. Calgary. Uh, it's a turnover in downs. It's not over yet. The time's the enemy for the Alouettes. They could get the ball back, possibly. But another Stampeder first down, and that will really end it. Keep an eye on the very bottom of your screen. See Dobson Collins across that line ahead of the snap. Calgary Stampeders. Great record when they lead after three quarters. Nick Lewis in. comes back, signing autographs right now. Asserted himself as usual. Owls could not make the comeback with the win, and they throw it backwards. And Jeff Fuller will run around and run this game out. It's a bizarre play to end the ball game, but it was a bizarre first half. What did Charleston Hughes want? Payback. And payback.